Forgetbook is a browser extension that will automatically delete all of your posts, likes, and comments without removing any of your friends or leaving any of your groups. Once you've downloaded Forgetbook from the Chrome Web Store, you need to open your activity log to use it. From your main profile page, you can open your activity log by clicking this button with the three dots. Then you click Activity Log. On the left, you can see all of your Facebook activity. You click the puzzle icon in the top right of your Chrome browser and click Forgetbook. Then you click Start Delete. Forgetbook will automatically delete all of your posts, all of your comments, and all of your reactions. Right now, it's not going to delete the photos because I have it set to keep them. It's also not going to remove my friendship with Sarah Jones because Forgetbook doesn't remove any of your friends or leave any of your groups. When it gets to the rest of my Facebook activity, it'll delete it just like normal. To stop Forgetbook from deleting posts, I click the Stop Delete button. You can set Forgetbook to do whatever you want with your photos. You can set it to hide them from the timeline, move them to the archive, move them to the trash, or leave them alone. First, I'm going to show you hiding from the timeline. I just select that option from the dropdown and click Start Delete. It'll hide photos that aren't hidden, and it won't unhide any photos that are. It still won't remove any of my friends or leave any of my groups. And when it gets, and when it gets to activity it's supposed to delete, it'll delete it just like normal. Now I'm going to show you moving photos to the archive. I select that option from the dropdown and click Start Delete. This time, Forgetbook will move my photos to the archive. It still won't remove any of my friends or leave any groups, and when it gets to other activity, it'll delete it just like normal. To see the posts in my Facebook archive, I click the archive right here. Forgetbook only works on the activity log, so it won't delete any posts in the archive. If I want Forgetbook to delete posts from the archive, I need to restore them to the activity log first. Then I go back to the activity log, and I can start using Forgetbook again. Now I'm going to set Forgetbook to delete photos. I set it to move to trash, and click Start Delete. It deletes my photos just like it deletes my other posts, likes, and comments. It still doesn't remove my friends, and it still doesn't leave any groups. Forgetbook has two features that help me use it. First, I can adjust the speed. If Forgetbook is scrolling through my activity log faster than posts are loading, it's not going to work properly, and I'll need to pick a slower speed. Probably the most reliable way to use Forgetbook is to set it to the slowest speed and let it run overnight. If I have a fast internet connection, I can set it to a higher speed, and it'll move through my posts faster, checking and deleting them as it needs to. Finally, if I've run Forgetbook multiple times, there will be lots of friends and groups up at the top of my activity log that it needs to scroll past before it gets to posts it should delete. It tells me how many activities it scrolled past right here, and if I copy-paste the number into Actions to Skip, it'll move past those posts without examining them. This might not look faster with just one post, but with hundreds or even thousands, it's much faster. And that's all. I hope Forgetbook saves you a lot of time. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at forgetbookapp at gmail.com.